in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, sits the Granville Street Bridge. Here's how we can solve it through the lens of city skylines. These are the proposed solutions for the Granville Street Bridge. Or what were the proposed solutions? A really cool idea with this boulevard main center lane and a heckin' elevator down to Granville Island? What the heck? Super cool proposal and ideas and something that's very different, I want to say, for Vancouver. It's very out there. <laughs> it's a super cool idea and something that I was so excited to see the city of Vancouver throw out there as a potential for the Granville Street Bridge. Because as it stands now, it is awful. It sucks. Having traveled on it myself, never ridden a bike on it, but only walked as a pedestrian, it um, sucks. Yeah, it sucks. And I would much rather take the sea bus below or just take the Burrard Bridge <laughs> because it's way, way better. I'm super excited to see something that's just uh, just awesome. It's really cool, this sort of boulevard center idea for the city of Vancouver. There have been a lot of cool uh, things going on with Vancouver, especially since 2020. The bike infrastructure as of late has really developed and they put a lot of investment into it in making cyclists in the city feel safer with protected bike lanes. It's been an awesome thing to experience and see. Now, unfortunately, the city of Vancouver does have a car-centric mentality. Oh, and when you gross. propose ideas like the plans you saw earlier for the Granville Street Bridge, a lot of people would refer to this as the war on cars. You're not going to take your kid to ring at practice in February on a bike. My transportation strategy doesn't declare war on cars. Really? I don't think it's a war on cars at all, as much as it is incorporating and making better streets for pedestrians, better streets for cyclists, safer streets for pedestrians, and safer streets for cyclists. What you're seeing on screen here, we're using City Skylines to come up with another proposal for the Granville Street Bridge here. Now, I'm working within the confines of what these blank roads offer me, and we're using a tool called Intersection Marking Tool here to really dive in and see what we can come up with as a proposal here. What you're seeing on screen now is the newer updated proposal for the Granville Street Bridge. And as we can see, it does seem like that car-centric mentality has shown. It sucks that it went from this super cool central center lane idea to what you're seeing now, but you know, it is what it is. Welcome to Vancouver. <laughs> so we have proposed a bit of a different take on the newer idea. And that's what you've seen me built here. But why don't we dive in and really take an in-depth look into what some of these ideas are that I had for the Granville Street Bridge. So here is the end product from the time lapse there. A beautiful, bike centric, bus friendly, pedestrian friendly road here. Now, this could take on like varying forms. There's been some awesome ideas that have been proposed for the Granville Street Bridge and how to improve it. Um, obviously, the biggest thing is the, the, the sidewalk. <laughs> that sidewalk's got to go. And the biggest idea to it here now, of course, limited with some of the assets on what you can fully do with blank roads here. But alternatively, some ideas you can do is convert. And this is one that's been proposed, which you should see on screen now. This is one of the proposed ideas for it is to take the center lane and convert it into a sort of bike friendly, pedestrian friendly plaza strip. And that's a super, super cool idea. I really hope that goes through. <laughs> I think that's so heckin' cool. But alternatively, other ways to, to sort of approach this here. Now, I would almost say too, like, because the, the biggest thing and the hardest pushback for it is removing lanes from cars. War on cars. Because ultimately that's what you're gonna have to do. And we wanna go for like, now I think this is a bit extra is doing two-way bike lanes on each one. I would almost say go one bike lane in this direction, one bike lane in this direction. But the way that the Granville Street Bridge interacts at the endpoints is something to make note of as well too, right? And so I guess if you have two-way directions, it can make it easier for the end bits here. But today we're focusing on just the bridge itself. So 
definitely think like, yeah, you could probably just do one direction bike lanes on here. Alternatively, you could move the bus onto this side, widen this a little bit, create this to also be pedestrian friendly and have the buses actually stop on the bridge because they're not going to stop here, right? And we need a barrier to help protect the pedestrians because this area here is a pedestrian pathway. So just something like things to think about because right now that bridge is horrible it's 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 the worst it's it's like i can't yeah i don't know it's it's to me is the worst bridge out there let me know in the comments section as well too uh what are some bridges that you think are worse than this i would love to hear from all of you but yeah this is the the general sort of idea breakdown again which can take on on many forms here um and the forms that you're seeing from uh, or that we've shared of uh, proposed ideas for it as well today junior hopefully this has been educational i know it's a little bit different city skylines content um definitely the channel is headed in more of an urbanism related content route so i hope you'll all stick around for that type of content i'll catch you all in the next episode on this channel my name's canadian moose and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe